Right, so that's throwing steel plates down as fast as it can there. Admittedly, I need to change these up to... Oh, no, no, no. These up to faster belts. Need to put them back down to smaller belts. research. Yeah, well, I shouldn't have that one there, so I'll take one out of there and put it back up here. Boop. So that's now running as fast as it can, but I need to increase the speed of these belts here, so... Yep, yeah, I'll produce the last of them. Dunk. You know that fast splitter I made for elsewhere? I'm going to use it there. Right, so the theory is we now have the fastest possible production coming out of there, that's a slow kink in the belt. I shouldn't really have that kink there, but whatever. Okay, so now we are absolutely taking iron plates away faster than it can be produced. So we need more factories, well, more electric devices producing there. So we have no option but to increase the production. So the theory is now we're actually going to be producing enough iron plates start filling the belts up again. Well, these are starting to fill up. Well, it's got a backlog of iron plates now. It's just down here where we're using up more iron plates than we're actually putting in. But luckily they're running about as effective as they can. I wonder if we could Advanced circuits, electronic circuits. If we grab a load of circuits and then turn them into the productivity modules. Oops, grab some iron gear wheels there by mistake. So, yeah, this will slow our production a bit, but one, two. Can't produce enough of them. Oh dear, that's run out. So we're now running the copper plants down here. What I can do is place that there like that. There and there change that direction to there and that's it we've got that producing there fill that belt up okay maybe I'm producing the wrong ones So I've got four productivity modules, I could put them in. Yeah, I could place one in each of these. So we've got productivity in the first four. Produce ten of those. How many of these have we got? One, two, three, four... Four. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I'm going to let those produce for a minute and we'll be right back. Right, we're going to place in some speed modules now that we've started producing them. I needed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's 16 at least. So I'll produce all them. Right, we'll place one in each of these for now. And that will allow us to produce enough to possibly fill this belt up. We'll find out in a few minutes. Ah, we're starting to back up one side of this belt already. So the other side of the belt's now getting more iron plates than we, than we need. So yeah, we're actually backing up the system now. That's good. Just before we were having the problem, we weren't backing up enough with the uh, iron plates. Right, so we've we've now just about produced all the productivity modules, uh, speed modules I needed. I'm not going to set a new research going yet because it just keeps getting in the way at the moment while I'm doing this. So we're going to put our speed modules in. Admittedly, looking at the production line now, it's nearly fully backed up. So what I'm going to do is I've got a couple of extra of these production speed modules. So I'm going to put the speed modules in with the production modules. Let's see how that works out with those. Because the, these will produce an extra plate every time it gets to the full amount. Plus it will work slightly quicker than the original. So yeah. I can always upgrade those at a later date and put productivity modules in everything. But as you can see, the conveyor belts have backed up already. We've already got enough producing there. There's plenty of coils producing. I was considering upgrading the factories, but looking at the way that's producing and working now. Oh, we're still not getting. We're still not getting the full amount of coins down here that I would like to see, but it's working okay. I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna undo that and then grab 300 iron out of there. Got plenty of copper. Grab some of them. Oops, I've grabbed some coils. So I'll put it in the end factory. Looking at this, this end factory will not ever get enough coils. So maybe I need to move this line a bit further down where it's broken. Come in here with it. Gives a better system of where these coils will come in. They will always reach the end of the production line that way. That's getting enough, and that's getting enough, so in theory that should be supplying just enough to the entire production line there. So yeah, that might work better. Because one is just supplying three, and then supplies two, and then supplies three. And that should keep it the entire production going on the circuits. Which still aren't backing up. Steel's starting to look like it might back up soon though. They take two each, so on. Eight of those, so if I get. Eh. Advanced circuits and processing units. So 
So I'm going to get some productivity modules for my steel. It'll slow my steel down a bit. Actually, I've got four there, so if I could cancel two of them. Yes. And then I can put four of these in. Use two there, two more there. Actually, if I'm lucky, the green circuits might start backing up again soon. Admittedly, I've just made a load of space for using them up, but my production lines could actually start catching up on me now. I'm gonna make sure I've got some more electrical engines. So move these over. I need to go down and check on the copper and iron production down at the train station. Because if I'm correct I'm probably going to be running out of uh, res resources down there soon. This train just came through so I know that's safe. There's the copper train, that's actually not empty. So, oh yeah, I needed to place that down and get rid of the offload the fuel. Also, offload that new power armor. Stick a thing in it. Eight gasoline engines, so oh. four, five, six, seven, eight. So we'll build ourselves a little car. Oh. Can I prioritize? No, okay. Sure, there used to be a way to prioritize something. what it was though. Anyway, we're producing the car now. Need to consider removing the railway back up out of the way. production is actually going okay there's quite a bit of resource down here still that's that's gonna run out soon but that's fine copper production that is gonna last quite a while actually there's a lot of stuff there yeah, even my lowest ones are well stocked I'm going to look for some more iron production though, because that's actually a little worrying. This is a good area here actually. So I'll grab all my mining drills and we'll set up a area. Can I do blueprints yet? Yes I can. No, it's not effective though. <laughs> right. What we need is one, two, three, three way. I actually have a way to deal with that. Yeah, didn't mean to remove the mining drill.
Oh well, that actually works. Right. Confess down. Oh, missed that. Well, that gets rid of them quicker. Right, so in theory we could... Pink. That should power all them. Then just place these here. And they're out of range. Right. So if I place that there, that'll work. Get this just connected up now. Right, that that's good. Yeah. yeah. Need to produce some more of them electrical towers now. Extending this would work as well. Okay, I'll have to wait for the production of those now. Can remove trees and things in the way though. the same or slightly different. We can place a station there. Four pieces for the loop. Then we'll need to construct some more track. So I won't have enough to finish this loop off. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe.